Okay, let's open a chat room. We go to a course, this is a little demo course called Moodle Moo. We turn the editing on, of course the magic button. Uh, and let's, uh, we always add a chat room just as an activity. So I go to add an activity, add a chat, and it's very much like other resources. Name of this chat room, you've got to name it. Let's say weekend chat, a spot to chat on weekends. Let's give it a name. And you have some options when you want to open, when you want to close, which you particularly be handy at schools. But you want to publish to students when the chat room opens. Um, I would imagine on saving past sessions, I would say that please uh, don't delete messages because at least at our school we had a case of cyberbullying, so uh, it was very easy to recall the re records of what kids were actually saying in those chat rooms. Um, and um, let's say, and um, we save the changes in display. Okay, and I can click to enter the chat now. Okay, let's enter it and see if we can get someone in there. Okay, a chat screen appears. And, aha, uh -huh, there's Kim Bebbington, a friend of mine who has entered the chat and he's typing something, hi Kim. And you will see the little conversation as it goes on between us. I'm not gonna bore you to bits here. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? And Kim is probably going to reply. The kids are usually very quick on these, uh, and they can enter sort of simple HTML editor in as well. Um, okay, the kids can also beep each other. Uh huh. They can also beep each other, and that's an annoying feature. I recommend you turning it off, especially if you're in a computer lab of a few of 20 kids. Uh -huh. Dockers, what dockers? This is an internal joke on a local football team. So I think you got um, just a basic overview of a chat room.